and welcome to today's presentation on five must-know tips for first-year university students who are intending to study in Perth. Today we're going to talk about how to have an incredible first year at university and settle in like a pro, how to get ahead of your fellow classmates, and some myths about studying at university, and what the truth actually is. So do any of these sound like you? You cannot wait to finish school and have your freedom. But you're also terrified of the impacts that current world events may have on your enrolment, your uni life, and your career opportunities once you graduate. You're intending to go to university next year or the year after, and you really hope that you have a good time. You also hope that you come out of it with a job. And maybe you're also moving to Perth or considering where you might live next year. If so, if that's you, you're in the right place. And I'm gonna take about 15 minutes of your time to tell you how you can have an incredible first year at university. You're not in the right place and this isn't going to be helpful for you if you actually aren't intending to go to university in 2021 or the year after. If you're not really bothered if you pass or fail or get a job and you're not really interested in making new friends. So who am I? I'm Robin. I am the marketing manager here at St. Thomas More College. So basically I'm the lady behind the Instagram, the website and things like that. And what exactly is Tommy Moore? So this is UWA here and we're dead across the road here at St. Thomas More College. So you might be able to see this front area here and our chapel, but way behind we have this huge campus here. And what we provide is accommodation. So it's basically on-campus accommodation for students who are studying at university in Perth or on the pathway to university. So you might be at TAFE with the intention of going to university next year. And if so, it's definitely the place for you. We have 400 rooms and the majority of our students come from rural WA. We have a whole bunch of students who also come from Metro WA, so Duncraig, uh, even like Mandurah area, and even places like Dalkeith, Mount Pleasant, uh, and things like that. So, we also have a number of students from interstate and heaps of students from overseas. So whether they're international students or people like exchange students from the United States, uh, you will always have a couch to sleep on when you go traveling the world later. Um, but our students also come from all five of the universities in Perth. So that's UWA, Murdoch, ECU, Curtin and Notre Dame. We also have a number of TAFE students and students who are in bridging courses too. So college though is much more than just a room. It's about making friends, it's about personal development, it's about career and professional development and networking, uh, as well as a lot of health and well-being too. It's definitely much more than a room. So before we get into these five must-know tips that you need to know before you start university, I'd love to introduce you to some of our students here at Tommy Moore. This is Jess Fenton. She's from Dawesville and she's currently studying a Doctor of Medicine at UWA. She said, before arriving at Tommy, I was so excited to start this new chapter in my life. Coming from a home where I shared the house with five other people, I was particularly keen to get some space of my own and showcase some independence. So maybe you feel that way too. This is Lily Travato and she's from Bustleton. She's studying a psychology double major at UWA. She said, Tommy Moore is special because we do have such a strong sense of community and you never feel alone. Adam Kong is from Geraldton and he's studying a Bachelor of Commerce. He says, Tommy Moore's culture took me by surprise. The social events meant that everyone was friends with everyone else. This is Lockie McLean from Beverly. He was a boarding student here in Perth and he's currently studying at the University of Notre Dame in Fremantle. He says, one of the things I love most about college is the number of events planned. There's always something on. Even if it's just playing a game of basketball with your mates, it's such an easy lifestyle. I don't have to cook or clean my room and the staff are great. This is Lauren Henville from Binu near Geraldton and she's studying at ECU. She says, being at Tommy is special because it's so much more than a place to live. I went to boarding school for six years and thought it would be just dreadful. 
but I was so wrong. It's a community. We all look out for each other and there will always be someone to guide you. Ella Taylor's from Dunsborough and she's currently studying at Murdoch University. She says, I chose Tommy Moore based off all the positive experience I had heard from life at college. I was really looking for a place where I could meet new people, make friends for life, and I felt Tommy was the best place to achieve this. Charles Redden's studying at Curtin and he's from Jalorup. He says, I underrated the impact a good social environment can make and Tommy Moore is a great place full of great people. Living at college provides a social and cultural environment unlike anywhere else, and the opportunity is one you only get when you're at university. So let's dive in, shall we? Tip number one. Tip number one is that your academic success is a direct result of your study-life balance. So you might be here thinking that you have to be an academic prodigy or something like that to get really good results and get the jobs when you graduate from university, but actually it comes down to a result of your work-life balance. One of the biggest challenges we see for first year university students is that all of a sudden it's not like school. You don't have these set hours, you don't have like all of this kind of set homework time. You've got a lack of supervision, a huge amount of freedom, which is awesome, but that means that it's up to you to prioritise study to develop organisational and diary keeping skills, to parent yourself because you're an adult once you attend university and to also get help when you need it. We also find that students like to study in groups. So perhaps consider where you might be able to study that's both gives you the peace and quiet that you need, but also maybe has others around. So maybe that's a university library, maybe that's breakout rooms or a local cafe that has free Wi-Fi. At Tommy Moore, we have a number of dedicated study spaces. We have free tutoring, we have group nerd night study sessions where we just overtake the dining room and we have Milo, we have Tim Tams and we have a whole bunch of tutors. So everyone gets together in the dining room. And also because we have about 400 residents, there's often times when you can touch base with others who are studying the same thing. You can get together in one of the group study rooms and all have like a big study jam session. So tip number two is that share houses aren't as great as they seem. So maybe you are from rural WA and moving to Perth for the first time, or maybe you are, you know, a student who just wants to be closer to university so you don't have to spend so much time in traffic and you're looking at where you might live next year. But it's really important that you consider what your goals are and consider all of the things that share houses entail. So basically at university, you have two goals. Number one is that you have enough time and support to succeed in your studies because let's be honest, university is expensive. Even if it goes on your hex, then you don't wanna be repeating units over and over again. Um, you also need to make sure that you have the opportunity to make incredible memories and friendships. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So you wanna make sure that it is awesome. And if you're gonna be living with your, if you are gonna be living with your parents, you need to consider a few things. So number one, will you have a quiet study space? And you know, have you got a place that's optimized for study? Do you want to do all of your cooking, cleaning, garden maintenance? Maybe you just can't be bothered, but maybe also you don't feel like you have the time to do that because you want to be able to prioritise your study. Have you factored in all of the costs? So not just the weekly rental cost, but also things like internet, gas connection, electricity and furniture. Can you afford to live close to your university so you don't need to spend so much time in traffic? And maybe you also don't want to pay so much for petrol. Maybe you don't want to be doing laps in the car park. Um, so can you afford to live close to university or are you actually going to live, you know, maybe an hour out in the cheaper suburbs um, where you don't have to pay that much? So also consider if you're looking at moving out of home, how you're going to navigate living with friends if you're in a share house. And so what, by that, what I mean is, are you going to have some sort of rules uh, for engagement when you're living in a house? So things like what happens if someone is late paying their rent or what are the rules regarding the food that's in the fridge? Is it 
like free reign, open slather, or you're going to have shelves dedicated to different people. So it's really important that you set those ground rules before. I mean, if you're living in college, those ground rules and things like that already exist. But it's really important to set those ground rules and have a think about those things. And also consider what you're going to get involved with uh, in terms of making new friends. Also consider how you're going to settle into university and what support you're having, particularly if you are moving to the big smoke for the first time. Tip number three is that community service really matters. And I can't emphasize this enough. So at Tommy Moore, we have a number of different events and programs and things like that that are aimed at helping students you know, get ahead when it comes to getting a job. But there's always this one piece of advice that is the same, no matter whether it's at one of our bright breakfast sessions where we get, you know, like for example, together, everyone who's studying in healthcare, we talk to people who are actually working in that industry. And they always tell us, like when we ask, what's gonna help our graduates get the jobs, whether that's our one-to-one -one career mentoring, whatever that is, this one piece of advice always comes back when it comes to getting a job. And that is that one of the secrets of getting a job is contributing to society. So when you're volunteering and when you're participating in community service or outreach programs, you show employers that you're multidimensional. You're not just a piece of cardboard that attended university and that was all. There's actually much more to you. It gives you skills in communication, in organisation, in time management. It positions you as a friendly person. Uh, as approachable and able to work in a team, and you actually gain heaps of things that you can add to your resume. Many universities are now also starting to recognise just how important this is, and they're putting these on academic transcripts now. So at Tommy Moore, we do heaps of stuff like this. We do volunteering at Ronald McDonald House. Uh, we participate in the HBF Run for a Reason, and we do team training and things. We have an annual Cambodia collaboration. So we have a relationship with two houses in Cambodia that provide care and education to children who would otherwise not receive it. So these are perhaps vulnerable children who would otherwise be homeless or begging on the streets or uh, landmine disabled, all sorts of different scenarios. But we help support them and we have a number of students who are selected each year to travel to Cambodia to these centres. We participate in Shave for a Cure, we have a community market, we have the Vampire Cups, that's all about blood donations, we have a more mentor program, so first year students at college are paired with more senior students to help them settle in and we also particip participate in Wheels for Life amongst other things. So also consider like what opportunities do you have through your university? Are there volunteering opportunities through charities such as the Red Cross? or St Vincent de Paul? Um, or are there overseas outreach programs maybe run through your university, through official outreach organisations that you can get involved in? And this is going to help you tenfold when it comes to getting a job. The other thing to consider is that extra curricular activities of other sorts also count. You can also put these on your resume and they're going to help you get a job leadership opportunities, clubs and associations, sporting groups, event volunteering opportunities. So being someone who like hands out water at the HBF run for a reason, all of those things are going to help you. And what kind of additional upskilling can you get involved in? So for example, leadership programs that might be offered. Um, have a think about that, but you need to do this right from the start of university. You can't start thinking about it, you know, in your final semester or once you graduate. If you want to get the jobs, if you want to have a great time at university and make heaps of friends, these are going to serve you well. So tip number four, kind of along the same lines, is that university is a chance to make lifelong friendships and career networks. So if you think about it, the people who you're studying with so it doesn't even matter if it's the same discipline or not. They're all going to move up the ranks with you once you all graduate. They're going to be able to help you find insider job app, um, opportunities. They're going to help you get a leg up. They're going to help invite you to events and things like that. This is actually a great chance while you're at university to make lifelong friendships, possibly with people from all across the globe. 
University is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You need to grasp it with both hands and expand your network of friends. So always ask yourself, what events, what activities can I get involved in rather than just attending you know, your tutorials and things like that. So at Tommy Moore, we have heaps of things like that. We have orientation week, we have the Fresher Festival, we have river cruises, the Great Escape, we have Battle of the Bands, all sorts of cool things like balls and all sorts that you can get involved in. It's such a great way to make amazing memories and amazing friendships. Tip number five, our last tip, is that you may have heard that P's get degrees. So P's are a pass at university, P's get degrees. But here's the thing that our graduates tell us again and again and again. P's may get degrees, but they don't get the jobs. And here's the other thing, is if you're just aiming for a pass, you may also fail a unit and that costs lots of money. And we don't want you to fail units, but we also want you to have the best opportunity at getting a job when you graduate. So here's what gets the jobs. We've heard this from past alumni, from current students who are getting um, part-time jobs while they're at university, from activities during our careers week, from our bright breakfast seminars, they all tell us that it's these additional things, community service, sports and other extracurricular activities, leadership skills and positions, a well-prepared job application and doing work experience. The more work experience you can get, then better that's going to serve you when it comes time to getting a job. And all of these things, as I've said before, begin in university, not once you graduate and not just in your final semester, there are so many support mechanisms available to you, even amidst the chaos that 2020 has uh, brought us. Those support mechanisms already exist for you at your school, at your prospective or current university, and here at St Thomas More College as well. It's up to you to make sure that next year or the year after, you get the balance of study and play right that you get involved and that you ask for support when you need it. Here at St Thomas More College, we are currently taking applications for 2021. If you wanna learn more about exactly what college is, what our rooms look like, how this can help you settle into life at university and generally have mm, the best time of your life, then visit our website and also come and check us out on Instagram. We're currently taking applications for 2021 and we were fully booked by the end of last year. So now is the time to start thinking about where you're going to live next year. You've totally got this. Thank you for tuning into this presentation and we wish you all the very best for life after school. Thank you so much for listening.